The iPhone 14 is currently by far the most anticipated smartphone release for 2022, with over two times more searches than the new Samsung Galaxy S22. And even though we've been covering all of the rumored features like the modernized iPhone 4 style redesign, the 48 megapixel 8K capable camera, the dual hole punch notchless display, and potentially even USB Type-C replacing lightning, there's one groundbreaking feature that could rule them all, insane level of battery life. Yes, there have been some major innovations in the battery technology space that can fix a multitude of issues with today's batteries all at the same time, and I'm going to be covering exactly what that is and how it's going to work and why it is so important to Apple. Now, before we begin, I just want to make sure you guys realize how big of a deal this really is. Out of all of the iPhone upgrades we have mentioned in the past, I would have to say that upgrading to the iPhone 11 Pro Max and recently the new iPhone 13s have been my all-time favorites. And while the addition of the ultra-wide camera with the iPhone 11 and 120Hz ProMotion on the 13 Pro were amazing new features, it was actually the huge jump in battery life that has changed my life the most because to be honest, it is battery life that allows you to use all of the iPhone features for longer without having to be stuck next to a charger or feel like you're gonna have to turn down your brightness to last through the day. And the same thing goes for people that want to be able to have a smaller phone, like the regular 13 instead of buying a Max, or maybe even the 13 mini, where battery life allows you to actually be able to use a small phone without those limitations. So with that said, let's get into this new battery technology revolution and how it is going to benefit Apple. Way back in 2020, researchers at MIT made a breakthrough with solid state battery technology, which could allow phones to last for days without needing a recharge. And the way that it works is by replacing some of the liquid components inside today's lithium batteries with solid ones. In today's lithium batteries, there is a liquid electrolyte which lithium ions use to travel back and forth between the anode and the cathode, or in other words, the positive and the negative components while the battery is in use. These liquid components are highly volatile and they're the sole reason that the batteries can catch on fire like the Galaxy Note 7 back in the day. And the beauty of having a solid state battery is that they would instantly become much more safe and less prone to fires. But even better, it would allow the anode within batteries to be made of much better material like pure lithium, which is much more efficient and would allow for higher energy density. However, there is also a major downside to this new technology. As the batteries recharge, the atom buildup causes the lithium metal to expand, and that could also lead to electrolyte fracturing, which could be even more dangerous. So MIT invented a new technology which literally uses carbon nanotubes to solve this battery expansion issues. These nanotubes are infused with solid lithium metal to form the battery's anode, and because there is extra space inside of each of the tubes, the lithium metal has spare room to expand and shrink while in use. So the major benefit of this is that the external dimensions of the batteries are completely unchanged and with no swelling whatsoever. And the beauty of all of this together with the new cathode technology is that it can lead to smartphones of the same size and weight that only need to be charged once every three days, hence the 72 hour battery life. Now, before you ask, what the heck does all this have to do with Apple? Well, they've actually filed for patents for better battery tech that sounds extremely similar to what MIT found. First of all, Apple has been working with the US government government on new coatings for cathode materials to improve battery life by using lithanium, titanium, and germanium coatings instead of the usual aluminum coatings to provide increased average voltage and improved energy retention. And as you can see in these patent images, Apple will be able to get higher battery capacity as voltage goes up compared to dropping off with the current batteries. But this isn't even the bombshell battery patent that I wanna show you guys. Last year, Apple filed for a patent that would allow Apple to use larger batteries in future iPhones by eliminating wasted space and using anti-swelling technology. This patent involves using a metal can battery, which is basically a rigid battery housing or enclosure, which keeps the battery components separate from the rest of the iPhone. And before I explain why they would wanna do this, let me remind you that this is exactly what MIT was talking about with their solid state battery tech. 
The main point is that there is currently wasted space in the interior of a smartphone to allow the battery enough room to expand and contract so it doesn't end up blowing up or causing a fire. Do you guys remember the Galaxy Note 7 that was recalled because of the number of battery fires that were happening? Well, that is because Samsung pushed the battery size to the limits without allowing enough internal space for the battery expansion and so that fires started to happen. But Apple, on the other hand, is careful to reduce the size of the battery to avoid this problem, which also really sucks because it leads to lost potential battery size. It just takes one glance at iFixit's iPhone 13 Pro X-ray image by Creative Electron to realize just how much internal space is currently wasted because of this whole battery swelling issue. And now it becomes really obvious why Apple would want to move over to a new solid state battery as soon as possible, since it would allow them to use larger batteries in the iPhone without having to make the iPhone larger itself. And I think that this is extremely important to Apple because if you've seen the leaked design of the iPhone 14, you could see that Apple is gonna have ceramic glass protruding out of the back and front, similar to the design of the iPhone 4S. And unfortunately, the only way to make this iPhone design not as thick as a brick is to reduce the thickness of the metal chassis on the inside of the glass sandwich, which of course will limit the internal space available for the battery. And if you don't believe me, Apple filed for a patent back in 2020 for a whole new thinner iPhone design that includes multiple structure layers, which could be made out of fiberglass hybrid and titanium metal, which could potentially be Apple's idea for the iPhone 14 design, one thin titanium slab sandwiched by two ceramic glass hybrid layers. And of course, the secret to making this all work without sacrificing battery life would be to jam in the biggest battery possible. And the best way to do that is to use up all of that wasted space I showed you in that x-ray image. And all of this leads back to MIT's solid state battery technology breakthrough, which will use carbon nanotubes to completely self-contain any battery swelling so that the battery housing could be solid, filling up the entire internal structure and space available. But the benefits don't end there. In the solid state battery video example, it shows that using this tech would not only increase battery life, but also enable faster charging rates, which is something Apple users have been asking for years. So basically, this new tech is the cream of the crop, and I fully believe that Apple is working on this because of the metal can battery patent that Apple filed for, which could only be solved by using a solid state battery. And if Apple were to implement it today, it could literally lead to an iPhone 13 Pro Max with 72 hour battery life because of having much less wasted space that allows for a much larger battery while also using much more efficient and energy dense materials. Or on the other hand, Apple could go back to creating even thinner iPhones, kind of like the thin titanium middle layer we see in the recent iPhone 14 design leaks, but with added features like an always on display without sacrificing any battery life compared to older models, compared to you know what we have today. And that would be awesome. That is a feature that we have wanted for many years now. And all of this could come with an even safer battery that doesn't have the same battery fire risk that other smartphones used to have, which which is a win-win. So with all of that said, if you guys enjoy this video, click that circle above to help us reach our goal of 1 million subscribers. Check out one of those great videos right over there. This has been Max, and I will see you in the next video.